This is probably the most requested product review, and I have no idea why. It's a little metal pan that you put a tortilla in, and you toast your tortillas, and you make a bowl out of it. Crazy, huh? Very simple uh, review we're gonna do here. I've got the packaging. I got my 10 inch tortillas. So here's what we're gonna do. Take a look while I go preheat the oven and take a look at the infomercial and see what it's all about. How can you get a crispy restaurant tortilla bowl, but without frying it in oil, grease, and fat? It's easy, just do what I do. Hi, Mark Gill here with the perfect tortilla pan. The fast, easy way to shape, bake, and create delicious tortilla bowls. They're healthier for you because they're baked, never fried. Watch, just place any tortilla into the nonstick pan, pop it in the oven, and in just five minutes, perfect tortilla bowls that are always golden and crispy. Okay, so you'll be proud of me. I read the directions, okay? There, uh, seven to 10 minutes. This is it, I'm putting it on this cook cookie sheet so I can bring it in and out, I'll slide around a little bit, but that's okay. I just don't wanna have to try and grab underneath this in the oven. All right, let me get my uh, tortilla out. Put it right in here. Press down. Oh, that was easy. It went in really easy. I was worried it was gonna pop back out. It went in super easy. Just gently push, it almost like holds it for you. So let's get this in there, seven to 10 minutes, and we'll take a look. All right, here's 10 minutes. I like the 10 minute mark. It's starting to brown a little bit now. Okay, so you let that cool for about five minutes. Can you guys see that? Let that cool for about five minutes, and then we'll pull it out and take a look at the bottom. The cool thing is, you can make these and store them in an airtight container up to four days. I just read that. How cool is that? So make a bunch of these like for the night before a party, put salsa in here or guacamole or whatever you want. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. In fact, tonight my uh, Tammy and Jack Jr., the whole family is gonna have the taco bowls. So uh, it, it just worked out perfect. All right, it's almost done cooling. Let me tell you one more cool thing I just learned. I didn't even realize that you can reheat these at 350. I baked this at 400, but you can reheat it from three to five minutes. So when you store them for another day, put them on the cookie sheet, and reheat them at 350 from uh, three to five minutes and they're good to go if you want them warm, unless you're serving like a dessert, like a deep fried ice cream or something, then you want them cold. But that's really cool. I like the fact that you could store these. All right, so let's give this a try here and see how we're doing. And there you go. It worked perfectly. Look at that. This is almost, uh, is it cool? Yeah, cool to the touch. Yeah, not easy, easy cleaning. You just wipe that out, give it a rinse, dry it off, and then here's your bowl. Wow, okay. I was not impressed in the beginning, but I'm kind of impressed now. You can pre-make these. You can warm them back up. Uh, the perfect tortilla pan. It was a complete success. It came out flawlessly. So if you're interested in this, I got this at Walmart for like 10 bucks. You can go elsewhere and look for it, but uh, don't pay too much, all right? They stack easy, they store up in the cupboard, not a problem. You guys take care. I'll see you on the next episode.